Hey guys, Peter Miller here from Uncharted Waters on the Discovery Channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your oil on your Mercury Pro XS four stroke. I have a 115 here. It's a very simple deal, so stick with me. First thing we need to do is take the cowling off. Here. The next step is to look for anything with the color yellow. That is the oil cap here. We've got the oil dipstick. And then of course we have the oil filter, which is in black, which is a mercury filter. And then we're gonna be draining the oil from this fitting right here, which we're gonna connect a half inch clear hose to and dump it into this bucket. So after you take the cowling off and you locate all the items you're gonna be working with, you have to take your first item, which is a half inch clear flexible hose, which you're gonna to attach to the fitting down here where all of the oil is going to be drained out of into this bucket. There should be about five and a half quarts. So I'm gonna connect this now. Then you wanna get the proper size wrench so you can open the fitting to drain the five quarts of oil. There it goes, starting there. There you have it. At this point, we're draining about five and a half quarts of oil into this bucket. It is dark, but it's only actually 85 hours on this oil change. So even though it looks dark, it's not a bad thing, but we are gonna be replacing five and a half quarts with fresh oil and a fresh oil filter. So obviously it takes a couple minutes to drain five and a half quarts of oil. So I'm not gonna show you the entire process. We're gonna move on to the next item assuming that the oil's already been drained and we're gonna remove the actual filter. We're gonna put on the new filter and then we're gonna add the five and a half quarts of fresh oil. And there we have it. That is the mercury oil filter and we're going to be replacing it with a new one. This is the new oil filter. And when you get a new oil filter like this, you wanna be sure to use fresh oil, brand new oil, because you don't want any particles on this filter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dip my finger into the fresh oil and I'm gonna run a bead around the top of this gasket to make sure it goes on nicely and it also comes off nicely when it's time to go for the next change. This is the fresh, this is the fresh oil. I'm gonna rub that on there. And we're gonna put the oil filter on. And as soon as we get that in place, we're gonna add five and a half quarts of oil. As you can see, the oil has finished draining. There's no more oil coming out. So what I like to do at this point is I remove the half inch hose and I will take a piece of paper towel and kind of just cram it up in there. We're gonna to have to close this fitting, otherwise when we pour the oil in, it's gonna come shooting out. Probably two more turns and we should be tight. There we go. Crank down, and now we're ready to add the oil. This is a 10W30. We're gonna be putting in about five quarts. And here we go. It's really important to use mercury precision lubricants because mercury marine oil has additives and it helps protect your engine. Okay, let's check our oils, see if we're full. We sure are. We're all the way up to this line right here. When that oil's clean, it's hard to see. So we have now taken out all the old oil. We put in a new filter. We're gonna put the cap back on. We're back in business. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more, check out my show, Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller on the Discovery Channel. Until then, I'll see you out on the water.